What's going on you guys? So I have another Lenovo Think Center M93P. It's gonna be upgrades. So what I will do is remove the side cover panel. Yeah, push this button right here, middle. So don't forget, you gotta press this right here, press it down, then you're gonna slide to the left. So what I will do is try to move closer. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the front cover basil. Uh, the reason why you're gonna remove it is you're gonna slide this right here and that's required to remove the front cover basil. So this little clip right here you have to press on also right here, the top, it's your finger. You're gonna lift this up, it slides to the, like this. So what I will do is I'm gonna remove this fan shroud because I'm gonna be upgrading the CPU. It's got a i5-4590 and I'm gonna be upgrading to i7-4770. So what I'm gonna do is remove the VD card because I'm gonna also upgrade the RAM. It's got eight gigs of RAM. When I'm gonna install two more sticks Oh, eight gigs, so it'll be total 16, it'll be total uh, 24 gigs of RAM, it's got eight gigs of RAM. And I'm install two more sticks, of, uh, that'll be, each stick will be eight gigs, so it'll be total 24 gigs of RAM, DDR3. And right here, before you're gonna pull out the video card, you gotta take your finger right here, and press this down right here, the clip. But hold this clip with your finger, then you're gonna pull it out the video card. So the video card, guys, uh, the one I'm gonna be using is, uh, this is a GTX 1650. This is uh, comes with a low profile bracket and a full high bracket. So it basically will work with a mini tower or a small phone factory PC or a desktop. And the uh, power supply in here is a 240 watt, so it'll work perfectly fine. So that's removed, what I'll do is I'm gonna add two more sticks of RAM. And I go with this. So RAM installed. And what I will do is, I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver And I'm gonna remove the heatsink cooler CPU because I'm gonna try to install the i7 CPU. So now what I will need to do is I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna take a 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. So first what I'll do is I'm gonna wipe down the thermal compound. If you guys are not gonna be upgrading the CPU, you probably still require to remove the heatsink CPU cooler and try to remove the old thermal compound that's basically bone dry and try to reapply a new one. I'm gonna fold this like this and apply rubbing alcohol. So what I will do is, I'm gonna take the CPU that I'm gonna upgrade to, this is i7-4770. 
I'm gonna pull this one out so you a clip right here, just like that. Comes out. Installed. What I will do is is I'm gonna take a uh, thermal compound I'm gonna try to get it okay so uh, you guys can use uh, this one right here Arctic uh, MX4 pretty good but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one because I have so much of it the cool master That's good enough. Looks like I applied too much in the bottom. We'll wrap it off. So, if you guys are looking for this little, this is called Terminal Grizzly little pad to spread the thermal compound. They sell this on Amazon also. Let me close this up quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna try to wipe it off. And we installed the CPU heatsink cooler. And you're gonna connect it back to the header right here. This will have to be connected here on top. Let's go again, double check. It's all good. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna install the VD card. And I'm gonna install here in the top one. This is a PC Express time 16 slot. Because uh, if you're looking at the other slot right here, the bottom one looks like a times 16, but that's a times four. So we'll install here in the top one. And the middle one is a times one slot. And I have to do remove the PCI bracket. Looks like it's a low profile, yep. Let's see if I can, okay. I can't see, okay, so I'm gonna go around like this. Can see better. Okay, let me get up. Can you see? car is installed and what we'll do is I'm gonna switch it the other side again I'm gonna 
change out the solid state drive upgrade. And what you're gonna do is you gotta disconnect the SATA cable and the power first. And it's got a caddy plastic here, so you just have to pull it like this, pull it down. Ah, okay, so, so it looks like it doesn't come out, so I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so. And it's got a two and a half inch solid state drive. What it'll do is a toolless. And basically, guys, this blue caddy right here is from a Dell I'm using. And I'll show you the other one I have you can use. And this one is also the Dell caddy. But basically, you can sell a solid state drive and a hard drive two and a half inch. And it will fit both. I'll put a part number. You guys can get them. They sell also on Amazon. But if you're going to be running only one solid state drive, you can get this caddy right here. She so comes out toolless like this. So this is also toolless design. Look at this. Comes out when I can't. I got to get my flathead screwdriver again. This comes out and I'll be using, oh, this is SK Hoenix Gold. It's a 500 gig, I'll soul stay drive. It's a two and a half inch, basically it's like a laptop. So what I'll do is remove, this is actually 256 gig, soul stay drive. Just on one way like this, just facing down like that, hit it, power. Try to get this one on. Okay, it's installed. And you're gonna connect the back to the power SATA cable. Okay, that's complete. Install back the fence route. So yeah, you ain't gonna close the see this for here. You can't close it down. So you have to go around like this. And see that right here, the secure clip. You gotta press it down with your finger, and it will come down. And what I will do, I'll have to turn around again so I can install the front cover basil. Okay, so front cover basil is installed. And I'm gonna install the second panel. So that's installed. I'm gonna show you guys the back side. And this is how it's gonna look like the back, the video card installed. It's got a DVI port and an HDMI port. And this is like for the airflow right here from the video card. So the hot air come out. See so yeah, you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, bye.